Hey everyone, it's Greg from Stationary Shenanigans. I hope you've had a good weekend. Let me know if you're able to do anything fun and if you're able to do any journaling or just anything with your fountain pens or your stationery in general. Um, I did do a journal with me session on Friday evening, so I felt like I was caught up on that and I want to do some more work on my Hobo Nietzsche, but in this video, I just wanted to share that I went to the DC Pen Show today. Today is Sunday, so it's the last day of the show. I've learned from just general life experience that Saturdays tend to be like the day where everything's always crowded. So I didn't want to go yesterday on Saturday because that's like when everyone else goes. <laughs> so I figured today would have been a better try. So I went and unintentionally, I was one of the... Uh, number of people that got the free bag and ink, which I'll show in a second. Um, I didn't do that on purpose. I actually intended to go like later in the afternoon, hoping it would be less crazy, less crazy because was it last year I went and the line was like through the parking garage because I had gotten there when they first opened and I just couldn't deal with that. So I already woke up early this morning. I had a bunch of errands to run. I like took myself out to breakfast. I read my book and I ended up swinging by there and getting there right when they opened. Um, so I got the whatever, however many people they give it to, the first 100 people or 200 people, I'm not sure. So that was a nice bonus. But I didn't realize that there's construction going on at that Marriott. And if you've been there before, it usually has like a really big lobby and there's a restaurant, a coffee shop, and tons of seating area and it's just like a really nice place to go and then you go into like the different ballrooms where they have everything on display well it was under renovation there's zero lobby so when you walk in it's basically you just go down a hallway into the other hallways and the ballroom where um the tables are set up so for someone like me who gets anxious in crowded places especially when i'm by myself it didn't bode well, so I went in, I basically got my bag, I did a lap, and I started to feel like I was having like a little mini panic attack, because the way that the, it was so, so that you all know that there's like a, a big ballroom, kind of like at a convention, right, where you, there's aisles of tables, and then they had things set up like in the hallway, and then there was a downstairs level, and they had different hallways of that, and it just like felt really tight to me, so I just kind of... <laughs> Didn't have a panic attack, but I was feeling like it was about to happen. So I left and I was like, okay, I at least went, I got my free bag. That was worth the price of the admission itself. Um, and I could say that I walked around. I saw Drew from Goulet Pens and saw some other people. And so what? I didn't get what I wanted. I'm just going to chalk it up to it's better to be out of there than actually have a panic attack. So I went outside and sat on a bench in the shade and kind of just like collected myself for a little bit and got up the nerve to go back in because I really wanted to get one major thing. Well, two major things, of course. I really wanted to get the uh, Traveler's Notebook Brass Pen customization um, that would only be at the DC Pen Show. As long as the pen didn't smell overly like brass, that's the only reason why I've never purchased any... Um, Traveler's Company writing implements because of course obviously I love Traveler's Company <laughs> but um, I had tested their pens when I was at the Paper Seahorse in Tampa Florida and the brass smell was just like too strong for me and like holding the pen I felt like my hand smelled like brass afterwards which I know is part of the novelty of it and I know that it's kind of normal but for me I'm really like sensitive to how things smell <laughs> So if I don't like a smell of something, like if I open up a laundry detergent or whatever and I don't like it, I flat out will just not use it. So that turned me off. I was like, okay, I'm obviously just going to skip on all the brass products. But the ones that are part of the limited edition are like coated in like a, I don't know what it's called, like a rubber or like a matte rubber kind of thing. So when I went and I went back, I smelled them. <laughs> well, I didn't like stand there and put them up to my nose. I just like pretended to like pick it up and look at it closely like trying to smell it which sounds creepy now that I'm saying it but it didn't have that strong smell so I was like okay maybe I can actually get one of these so I met the people from Traveler Com Traveler's Company USA they were super awesome I also got some stamps which I'm about to show you as well I ordered a pen which will ship in November 
and I didn't realize it, but the pens are actually, uh, the pens and the customization are actually made in the uh, Traveler's uh, warehouse in Kyoto, Japan, and then they ship from Kyoto. So that's why he said you had like pay for shipping, and then um, I guess just, you know how they like to release things to make it, I guess, more special, like over time. So I, I guess I'll get it by Christmas. I have no idea. Um, that's kind of the fun. I'm not going to say what I customized for because I want to share it in a video when I actually get it. But so I did that and then I really wanted to get something from Galen Leather and I just I saw their table like before I had my pseudo panic attack and just like, oh, I really want to get it because then I don't have to worry about shipping. I don't have to worry about it coming from Turkey and taking time and spending extra money and all that. Because they sell their products like at cost in the at the pen show, like you're not paying any tax or anything like that. It's just the cost of what you see on the website. So I ended up getting what I wanted from there too, in a different color, which I'll also show you. So that was me talking for six minutes straight about the DC pen show and my weird anxiety that only kicks in at random times at this point. Um, I think it's one because I was alone. When I go places that are crowded or if it's like a big event or, you know, like a crowded museum or bar or something, usually when, when I'm with a friend or I'm with a group of people, I don't have that weird feeling. It's something about being alone, like makes you extra self-conscious about yourself, especially at a place where people are socializing and you're not part of that group that's socializing. I just tend to feel awkward and a little bit out of place, so enough about that. So I will share first what's in the free bag from the pen show. First, let's take out the big item I want to share. So I've never gotten anything like this before because I've never like one of the first people in line just worked out today. So this is from, I guess the sponsors and they already dropped something. Okay. So first I got, well, this is just a sticky note that says the Washington DC super show fountain pen. Um, can I zoom in a little bit? And then this is from Private Reserve Inc. And I've never used them before or really heard of them, honestly, but I guess they're one of the sponsors. And again, I'm not super into fountain pens, but this is kind of cool because it's like a swatch guide of all of their colors, including the DC Super Show Blue. And the reason why I like this is because Whenever you buy fountain pen inks, you're usually looking at photos on a website. Um, or unless you're actually able to test it in store, but that, I feel like that's not that common. Anyway, um, and I feel like the what you see on a website might look different than how it's on paper. So it was nice to actually have like a paper copy of these swatches. So got that. And then this is from Monteverde, which is also a sponsor. It's a cute giraffe and little baby animals. I guess giraffe is their um, jungle collection. Oh, and then it's kind of like a list of all their different inks. This is actually kind of hard to see because it's so small, but that's cool. And then this is, I guess, from Conklin. Again, I've never used any of their stuff. Their little swatches and their product numbers. And then this is also from Private Reserving. Ooh, neon. I didn't know that. I guess that's kind of like highlighter ink. Maybe I'll try and eat on someday. And then it talks about it. So you get like these like little things. And then oh, this is the bracelet from when you're at the show. And then I guess what they were giving out for 2022 was a special edition DC Super Show Violet from Monteverde USA. I have never used Monteverde and I don't know if I would write Normally I wouldn't write with purple very much, but there's something about this purple, it's a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can tell. It almost looks like a blue violet. So not sure if I'm gonna use this or maybe I'll keep it for a giveaway. So it was nice to have that for free. And then you get this bag that says Monteverdi and all that stuff. And let's look at my stamps. So Traveler's Company USA was there. Uh, the table was smaller than I thought it would be, honestly, and they were next to, I didn't know that they're the same company, now I'm totally drawing a blank. It's like kind of that binder system. They're also the same people that work that store. Um, I, I can't even think of it, I'm sorry. So if you wanna know, I'll try to find out. Um, 
but they had a bunch of stamps, so I, I just randomly grabbed a couple stamps in no particular order. And I wanted to show you, the first one I did was the Traveler's Sketch. And I also did, um, is this? Yeah, Traveler's Hotel. So this is the one from the limited edition. They did they did have them for sale. And people were excited to see that. Um, I do like that green color. And I just randomly put them on my notebooks because I was trying to be quick. Oh, and then I kind of liked just this Traveler's Notebook stamp that they had. And this one is the world. It's the book one, Traveler's Company Japan. And then I got this one, which of course I didn't do well, but whatever. Keep on traveling in your mind, something, Traveler's Notebook. And I th thought I stamped a cover somewhere of one of the notebooks. Maybe that was the Traveler's Notebook one. Did I stamp any more? Nope, that was it. So it was nice to get some stamps. And now the item that I purchased from Galen Leather. And I think I've talked about it before. I also watched a video, I forget his first name, I apologize. Or maybe he doesn't even tell us. Um, his channel Stationary at Four, and I will link it below because I really like his videos because not only are they kind of, what's the word? Like in depth, but like they're very articulate and they talk about things that maybe I've never thought about before when looking at uh, stationary items and using them so it's kind of insightful that's the word I want to say they're very insightful so he posted about this and I know I've wanted one and because they had them in person I was like we're just getting one so I did it I bought the Galen Leather A5 folio I'm not sure the exact title I should know that but I don't um I went in there thinking I was going to get the ochre yellow or the the nude because so I was thinking the light beige one would be nice and kind of you would never get sick of it because it's just like a neutral tone but I really like their green I know I've seen them before and it's just very green <laughs> and green is one of my favorite colors it just felt nice and I picked it up and it just felt right so took the plunge but my main concern about this was zipper functionality I hate when zippers don't open well so once I just opened it up and the zipper went through, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm getting it. And you see the inside here, it has a removable pen holder thingy and different things to store your stuff and a detachable keychain. And it's just nice and soft and felty inside. And yeah, I'm gonna do a setup video when I figure out what exactly I'm gonna put in here. I, I know I mentioned it before, but I'm, I need to rethink my journal and writing approach non-traveler's notebook journaling like your deep dark secret type journaling or things you want to write about like more like in an essay format less of in a journal but i digress so that's what i'm hoping to use this for and also it just you know the leather is just it's what it improves over time right this is something that gets better over the years it doesn't it doesn't really lose its value so i'm excited to give it a try i know some people are either they love it or they hate it so We'll see which category I fall into. And because it was this, they also give it to you in this case. And I don't know if it's normal or if it's because it was a pen show, but they gave me a free notebook because I made a purchase. And this is with Tomori River Paper, fountain pen friendly. I have no idea if it's lined or whatever. I've never seen these notebooks in person. I'm sure some of you have. So let's go ahead and open it up see what it looks like see how it feels um, and then once I bought this I was like okay time to go I, I, I ordered my travelers company thing and I got the game and leather thing which I really did want one place that was there that I was eager to shop at and talk to was pelican the German pen company they had a bunch of different things but I wanted to buy a fountain pen and the Pelican guy was talking to like his friends that were, I guess they came by the show and they were like chatting with him. And I was waiting and lingering and like going to other tables, you know, ready to go buy something from him. And 
I stood there. He kept talking. And they weren't even talking about Fountainhead stuff. They were talking about, like, their vacation and what they're doing. You know, it was not, like, a business transaction. And after waiting, like, five or ten minutes, I had to get out of there and just keep moving because the more I stood there, like, the more anxious I got. So, life with somebody who has anxiety, right? So, this is called the Everyday Book. And it is kind of cool packaging. Oh, it's magnetic. The thing... Galen Leather, brand of stationery, is celebrated for quality and ingenuity. Ingenuity? Wow, okay. Um, actually, does the whole thing open, or is it just like a pouch? Okay. So it's black. Oh. Oh, and it's got like a piece of leather and lines. I guess this is what you put behind when you're writing. And it says at the bottom that it's 400 sheets. 14.8 by 21 centimeters, blank, made in Turkey. This notebook uses Tomori River, 52 grams per square meter white paper. So it's blank, that's kind of nice. Ooh, and it lays flat, okay. Don't know how it'll hold up to my writing, but I'm eager to find out. But so far it feels really nice. And it's funny because when he gave it to me, it was heavier than I thought. Like, I think he like went to hand it to me and I like grabbed it thinking it was gonna be like a flimsy notebook and it was super heavy and I almost dropped it. But um, yeah, so I love that it lays flat. We all love that, right? Nice paper. And I also like how the edges are not square, that they're rounded, so. And then I guess you put this behind when you're writing with lines. And if anyone knows the purpose of the leather, I would love for you to share that with me in the comments below because I feel like there's a reason for this. Oh, is this like a blotter with your fountain pen? Something like that? Okay, so anyway. Thanks for sharing this with me. I hope you're ready for the week that's coming up. I have a lot to do. I'm actually going on a trip on Wednesday. I'm leaving. And it's like an actual vacation where I'm not working any of my jobs. I'm not bringing my work laptop. I'm not checking emails or any of that. So I want to kind of figure out which traveler's notebook setup I'm going to bring with me because I'm going to a bunch of different places and I'm driving and I, I want to be able to do some journaling or at least some art journaling. I'm not sure yet. So hopefully I can think about that and make a video and let you all know. So thanks again and take care.